I was young, I loved all kinds of hard sciences, but I also loved playing soccer. When I finished high school, as I wanted to continue playing soccer in my hometown, I picked an engineering major at the local university. It turned out that I really liked it. I like solving problems at home, at work, for me, for my family, for friends. Problems are puzzles, and I enjoy very much tinkering and finding creative solutions. As I grew older, I realized that I am part of a minority that not always has it easy, both as a woman and as a lesbian. This made me very aware of the need of having and keeping rights and the dangers of losing them. This reflects on my research and determines the kind of problems I seek to tackle. My research revolves around security and privacy in the digital society, mainly focusing on privacy. When you ask people what online privacy means, they say something of the lines of maintaining our information secret and stop there. It is hard to realize that privacy is in itself not a goal, it is a means. The means we have to stop others from intervening in our lives. In my research, I do not stop at warranty and secrecy and permit computations on secret information. Those still permit interventions that may go against our wishes. Instead, I aim to build digital systems that not only keep information private to the user, but also avoid that then information generated in the system can be used in unintended ways. For example, when we built contact tracing applications to help breaking COVID-19 infection chains, we did not go for a solution that relied on sending data to a server and trusting this server to never reveal this information. This is because this server could still use the data to compute more information about the user and act against them. Our solution instead guaranteed that the data shared with the server could not be used for anything that was not the intended goal, to notify users that they had been in proximity of an infected person. I work a lot with NGOs to try to bring technology to them with this philosophy in mind. This way, they can ensure that the stakeholders, like refugees, investigative journalists or others, can enjoy the benefits of digitalization in a safe way. Privacy has become a priority when it comes to digitalization. Governments and companies are pushing hard to have privacy, yet their push often consists in still being able to mine the data and use the result to influence individuals and society. My goal is to show that a different digital world is possible. One in which maximizing data benefits is not the goal, but the goal is to provide people with digital tools to improve their lives without having to worry about the consequences. This is a big challenge, but challenges are what fuel my research. There is no impossible, we just need a different way to look at the problem. And I can provide such a look.